Welcome to the second episode of RefGuest Season 2. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek and we're right back into the action. Today's theme is going to be hometown players, players that played for their hometown fan favorite team growing up. So without further ado, the same six competitors going head to head once again. Let's get right into easy mode. Active player. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this blind. I see we've got a chunk of seasons. Pitching stats, who's pitching for a team they like? I mean, now I'm just... Now you're just looking at it. Now I'm basically just looking at it. So no first blind guess yet. Okay. Was an Astro, came up in 2016, a pitcher. It was starting off at a pitcher. Oh my God, that whip though. No disrespect, my friend. <laughs> Ryan Cohen would know this guy. Okay, we got a starting pitcher. Someone, something was tripping me up about the visuals of this, and I realized the games column is gone. Did you do I that, or it. was that baseball reference? I trim it a little bit. Okay. I trim out the fat. Okay. Who went from Houston to Pittsburgh to San Diego. San Diego Padres fan who pitched for the Padres, and I don't know who this is. Oh, this is this is an active Yes. Player. Got an all-star. No Cy Young votes. This 2017 Astro. Dude, let it go. No. <laughs> 17 Astros, I think he was doing a lot of bullpen work. At least come to playoffs. Traded to the, to the Pirates. Traded to the Padres. I believe original organization is Toronto. Ah, damn it. Is that what you're I could have blind guessed. Uh, no, I didn't I okay. didn't get there, but I, I think I would. Because you're right. About this it, is yeah. a homegrown guy. It was pretty cool when he got the extension to stay there. He didn't fully kick into gear until his kind of final season with Pitt traded. Where he goes to San Diego and uh, people doing this stuff. Who is that against? Okay. This is a starter? Reliever? Let me see. Yeah, he's a starter. I just looked at the innings pitch. Okay, so this is Houston. Started with Houston, went to Pittsburgh, and then went to San Diego, his hometown team. He's a starter. Now, if I'm thinking about San Diego starters, uh, he's not you, Darvish. It looks to me like this is Musgrove. But yeah, people forget this guy was a 2017 Houston Astro. This guy pitched against the Yankees in the 2017 ALCS. But then this guy went to San Diego where he threw a no hitter that got replayed on. Like if you religiously watch MLB.tv yeah, every, every night, every like day. the social media team does here, you have Java Joe, no, no, stuck in your head. Yeah. Like for all, what was that, 2022 or 2023? 2020. One, I think. No, but you know? the season that it was on oh, MLB.tv yeah, yeah, yeah. and repeat, it was, well, it was torture. It was yeah. like a running joke among the social team. Yeah. I think it's pretty fair to call him like pretty underrated at yeah. this point. But yeah, this gentleman is Joe Musgrove. Why is this not lining up in my head though? Feel like I know who it is, but it so, for some reason, it's um, I'm having like a little yank from the other side saying, no, no, don't, who are you thinking? don't say it. I think it's Joe Musgrove. One all-star team. He's 31 now. This would be Joe Musgrove. Joe Musgrove. Could this be Joe Musgrove? No, it's not. Could this be, did Joe Musgrove go to Pittsburgh? Joe Musgrove is from San Diego? That is correct. Joe Musgrove is from San Diego. Oh. Grew up a Padres fan and threw their first no-hitter. Man, he's good, huh? Yeah. How about that? He is really good. If he didn't get hurt last year, people start talking about him like, oh, he's like tops. Dropped a, dropped a weight on his foot? Houston, Pittsburgh, Padres. That's a, that's, a, that's a nice one. Bonus points for quickest to do it? I think so. Wow. So plus one. And I climb the leaderboard. No big deal. It's Joe Musgrove. It's Joe Musgrove. It's Joe Musgrove. <laughs> you know why? Because he was on that Pittsburgh team. I felt mm. like he was in Pittsburgh longer right, than that. Right, right. He was on that Pittsburgh team, one of my favorite pitching staffs of the last 10 years. <laughs> Got to quickly interrupt our second episode of Ref Guest to thank today's sponsor, which is SeatGeek. Right now, if you use promo code JAMBASEBALL, you can get $20 off your first order at SeatGeek. And why would you go anywhere else for buying tickets? They are the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million unique downloads and over 70,000 different events on their app right now. Their app is free and it's easy to use and they make buying tickets easy and inexpensive. So download it now, and while you're at it, use promo code JMBASEBALL. It's in the channel name, it's on the screen, you can't miss it, and when you use it, you get $20 yeah, off your first order. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's Ref Guest video. Now let's get back to the action. There's medium, if you want it. Medium and I want it. Let's go for medium. Medium, okay. All right. Okay, this guy was a tiger for one year in 2008, and then he became a Tampa Bay Ray. 
for a long time. Didn't steal any bases. If you guys were wondering. Corner outfielder. We dragged it out a couple years. But it didn't end super pretty. One big boy season in Oakland, huh? One big boy season in Pittsburgh? What is that about? Started in 2008, ended in 2021. Oh my God, you batted 091, Pop? What happened? You had 252 the year before. I was a Rays fan. One of like the, like 40. We have, ooh, this guy bounced around quite a bit. I already know who this is. He was a Philly in 2021 for 43 games. Who was on the Phillies in 2021 and only got 69 at bats in 43 games? Solid on the Rays. 25 home runs in Oakland, 13 home runs in Pittsburgh. Debuting Tigers in eight. Rays with a lot of right field. Ooh. I mean, if this guy's your medium, that's going to be a little fucked up, but I think it is. Outfielder for the Rays. Okay, so more recently. The Phillies at as a 36 year old in 2021, but that's not enough games for me to know. Miami for a year. This was I feel recent. Like this trip from Miami to Philly. I mean, there was other team. There was a, definitely someone on this path that I'm blanking on. Hmm. These ones are always tough for me. Not really stealing bases. The Rays just had so many guys come through at one point. Came up when he was 23, one-time All-Star. An AL guy that went to the NL like once. Oh, no, a few times, actually. He must have been sad to leave uh, the Rays. Went to L.A. Played till he was 36. This guy I know, I would know for being a Ray, for sure. 2009, he came up. 2010, these are my years, man. Longoria played with this guy. He was a Detroit Tigers rookie. Who did we take from Miami in 2020? The the timeline is just throwing me off. 25 homers in Oakland is just every person that I come up with and I'm thinking maybe there's no way they hit 25 homers in Oakland. <laughs> Had a great 2019 with the Braves. Who is this? Oh, I don't know who it is. It's not coming to me. I just know like we talked about this guy on the show a ton. We thought maybe he can find himself in Miami doing something. In o- oh, he was with Oakland for two years where he played a ton. Didn't have much run. I mean, he's got some center field in Oakland. I That, that played really well in Atlanta mm. and then went to Miami and then Philly. I know that. It's bothering me because I know I think we like met this dude and talked about him on the show a lot and I think we met him and it's and now it's like bugging me that it's not coming it's not coming right to my head I come so eventually. I'm getting frustrated oh my god this is going to pop this one's going to like really mess with me man <laughs> last episode I didn't get I didn't get hard but this one I feel like it is going to really piss me off I need to remember faces real quick I don't think this is an Upton brother Jesus outfield is going to piss me off is he a strikeout guy? 100 strikeouts. Oh my God, how I don't know this. I need a number that jumps out for me. He's not a base dealer, so the guy's like a truck. Well, not really, but he was a Ray that was annoying. Probably, maybe. It's a Tampa Bay Ray, a Ray, a Ray, a Ray. Damn, dog, am I really not gonna get this? I'm trying to let this one simmer. As soon as you tell me, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, he sucked. Had it. 295 for the Braves. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, was a 290 hitter. Tampa, 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 Tampa. I am stumped. I think this is a Trevor Plouf friend. I recall that that NL East bounce around a little bit at the end. Didn't know, didn't know he was a Tampa guy. I guess they're friends not because they're California guys, but because they played in Oakland at the same time. A lot of one-year stints places. 25 homers as an A. Fuck. And he grew up a Rays fan? That's just a lie. Nothing's coming to me, but I just know I know this dude, and I'm blanking really hard, and I might sit in silence for a half hour. Is this one of the Upton brothers? Is that a guess? Not really, because I thought he would have more stolen base if it was BJ Upton. But yeah, BJ Upton. I'm going to throw out a name. I don't even, I'm not even going to throw out a name. Forget it. I just, every name is dumb. <laughs> so sad. Every name is dumb. I'm so sad. Who is Cheers. this? Oh, man. It's going to bother me. Sean Rodriguez. We're going to go with Matt Joyce for this. I believe this has to be Matt Joyce. Does this guy have a hot wife? Like a famous hot wife or just a hot wife? Just a hot wife. Is this Matt Joyce? It's just Matt Joyce. <laughs> 
Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Trevor Ploof talks about that. Right. As part of the hot <laughs> hot MLB Wives Club. He did all right. Um, yeah, no, we're happy for him. And yeah, I mean, some serious power. Mm. The teams made sense. Sure. That this is indeed Matt Joyce. Grew up a Rays fan. It is not BJ Upton, who unfortunately. Is, who is this? going to piss me off so much. This is Matt Joyce. <laughs> Jimmy, I didn't want. I didn't want you to be sad. I'm super sad because I that that is the most bothersome thing about this fucking game is I can <laughs> picture their whole silhouette of a and I just don't know their name. Right. This was uh this was Matt Joyce. Oh, Matt Joyce. Yes, Oakland. I remember him in Oakland. He had a big year in Oakland. He did. Damn, dog. Sorry, Pop. I honestly like the guess because it's Ray and Philly, but it's not Sean Rodriguez. This is sweet swinging, Matt Joyce. Oh my gosh, I forgot. He was a common. Yep. He was a common card in Diamond Dynasty on the yep. Phillies. Oh man. <laughs> Finish! What's that, seven points already? Seven and oh, like the Yankees at the time you're watching oh, this video. Okay. I am trying really hard to get hard for you. Grew up in Minnesota. Three straight All Star games. We're racking up some saves at the end. God, I got to be honest. I don't feel good about it being a career twin. I think I do know it, but he's got one of those names that I cross up with a few names. He racks up saves for a stretch, which is cool. A Trevor Plouffe teammate. Mind if I look something up? Nope. Wait, shit. You get me with that. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We got reliever. Minnesota twin reliever. Wow, three straight all-star teams. A lot of guys don't do that. I've never done that. Right. Working on it. Bit of a weird career also because like first five years of his career, not that good. Kind of like figured it out. And then 2010 to 2011, they the first time they gave him like real run. Like, hey, we're throwing you out there for 65 games. Yeah. He was awesome. He was awesome for five years in a row, basically. I think I know who this is because again, a teammate of Trevor Plouffe's and the closer, I didn't have them from Minnesota. I thought they were from like Australia. Some good years. I know, but the, I keep getting cro crossed up with him and a different guy with I think the same last name and I think also a twin. Three all stars, really. I'm trying to think of if I'm just like missing somebody that's that like it, it, it's more obvious. Not like you know Alex Colome bounces around and I don't think is from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm pretty sure this is Glenn Perkins. Yeah, I mean another name isn't going to come to mind. I think this guy's a I think this guy's messed around with the blitz ball before. I think Plouffe's threatened him as a teammate. Is this Glenn Perkins? Last name Perkins is what I've got, but I get Glenn and Blake confused. I believe this is Glenn Perkins. And it is indeed Glenn Perkins, BBD. Nicely done. Got your first heart of the season. That's huge. I needed I needed that in week two. I'm pretty sure on Glenn Perkins, one of his like tops cards one year, the fun fact was that he tried to like record his like dreams. Like when he he used like a oh, like hair a, dryer um, and like some other stuff. Like lucid dreaming kind of thing? Where you like I think he tried to like actually like videotape his dreams so what? he could rewatch them in the morning. I remember there was a hair dryer involved somehow. Ten year old Max was very invested in that story. So Jerry, Jerry's still throwing the best blitz ball pitch I've ever seen. Right, that sw slider? The slider. It's gross. I want an MLB pitcher to really mess around. And like figure the blitz ball yes. out. Yes. Because, yeah, there's endless capability. Finish! Well, today's trivia question is a doozy. I'm going to give players three minutes to give me five possible names. They're going to have unlimited guesses for this question. I'm asking them to name five position players in MLB history who played their entire career for their hometown team. Only that one team. And on top of that, they made the Hall of Fame. So players who played for their hometown team their entire career and became Hall of Famers after the fact. Three minutes on the clock. Name as many as you can. Joe Maurer. Correct. Cal Ripken Jr.? Correct. Derek Jeter? No. Correct. I, my, I think my best play here is just to think of Hall of Famers who played their whole career with one team. I feel like there's a Toronto guy. I don't know why in my brain that feels like a thing. Mariano's from Panama. <laughs> uh, oh, Mike Schmidt? No. No? Chipper? Chipper, no. Okay. Ernie Banks? Uh, no. Is he sneaky from Illinois? Okay. Stan Musial? Uh, no. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. George Brett? 
Uh, no. Who else? 45 seconds left. Mm-mm-mm. I haven't thought about the NL at all. That was a grave misstep on my end. <laughs> 30 seconds. Maze? No. Not Maze. Hank Aaron? No. I'm kind of stumped on this. Bagwell, Biggio. Neither of those. Five, Damn, I got three four, immediately and three. then I just blanked. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. So that'll be time for you. Okay. Three out of five is really I'll good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Joe DiMaggio. Uh, Lou Gehrig. I don't have those. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. I was I was just going to start rattling names. Cal Ripken Jr. Yes. Correct. Okay. Derek Jeter? Yes. Okay. Boston stinks. Where's Ted Williams from? I don't know. Not Ted Williams. Stan Musial. No. Hall of Famers, right? Yes. That's the game? All Hall of Famers. One team. Kirby Puckett. No. Harold Baines. No. Nope. Okay. Got to think of guys that stayed with one team. Yeah. I mean, that's a rare, kind of a rare thing, right? Dustin Pedroia. Nope. It's got to be a brave. Chipper Jones. Not Chipper. Larry Walker. Not Todd Larry. Helton. Nope. Mariano Rivera. Nope. Joe Maurer. Yes. Okay. There's three. Willie McCovey. Nope. Buster Posey. Not no. Buster. Not in Georgia there yet. Tech. George Brett. Not George Brett. Good guess, though. So. Rod Carew. Not Rod Carew. Nope. Who's uh, Paul Molitor? Not Paul Molitor. Ah, he's sweet. Changed teams, I think. 10 seconds. Last guesses? I don't know. Okay. You and Max got the same three players. <laughs> really? Not a bad show. No clapping for you. I know. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> I didn't know them. Joe Maurer. Yes. Derek Jeter. Yes. Is, counts. It's hometown. I know. There's yeah. some weird bullshit, but it's, yes, it counts. Okay, and now we wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Wade Boggs isn't a one-team career no. guy. Craig Biggio? Nope. Jeff Bagwell, no way. Not Jeff Bagwell, no. Dodger out there. Two minutes is left. There. One team career. Jeter's the only like trick on like where Kinda, they're from. Yeah. Yogi Berra? No. We don't have like a time frame. Just they're in the Hall of Fame. In the Hall of Fame. Cal Ripken? Yes. Nice. There's your third. Okay. With one more name, you could one flip more. it on its head. Ryan Zimmerman, not a Hall of Famer. Not a Hall of Famer. Yet? <laughs> I don't know why I'm jumping to like California teams and trying to think real hard. Ernie Banks? Not Ernie Banks. Got a Cubs hat on. Ryan Sandberg? Nope. Andre Dawson? He bounced around. Roberto Clemente didn't grow up in Pittsburgh. Ten. Mike Schmidt? Nope. Fuck. Last guess? I got nothing. Okay. Three out of five is respectable. It's what everybody else got. All three, you said the exact same three names. So you'll all get five points this week, which is cool. The other two names, Barry Larkin. Okay. Who grew up in Cincinnati, Lifetime Red, made the hall. And then Tony Gwynn. Oh, that one hurts. Yeah. That one hurts. Well, Max, Jake, and BBD all came away with the same three names, so they're all going to get the two points because that was the highest total trivia score. So, when they all walk away with five points, here are the standings at the end of episode two. Max and Jake are still on top of the leaderboard, but BBD is climbing while, you know, Jimmy, Joe's, and Shelfie have some ref guessing figuring out to do in their own right. So that's the end of episode two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if your favorite player did well this week or not. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the jam baseball channel and leave a like on the video it's free it's easy and it helps us make more content so we appreciate it and we'll see you guys next time for another episode of ref guess